Hello, hi, good morning. I am kind of scrambling to get ready, pulling things from my closet, and I'm just like preparing for the weekends ahead of me, but I wanna vlog, so here we are. Hello, happy Friday. Okay, this week was an excursion and a half. I feel like I was so busy, I was doing so much. I was like not on edge, but I had so much to do that I made myself on edge. And today, randomly last night, 11 p.m., Jordan, decided that he is going to go and record a cover for a TikTok because Universal Music Group reached out to him to do a collab on TikTok. We are going to the city to see his brother and he's going to help him record. And we're just gonna kind of have ourselves a very content creation day. So if you've ever wondered what that's like or you really wanna know behind the scenes, this is definitely the vlog for you. So let's get fucking going. Okay. Quick migration to, I almost said to Rambo's house. What? Quick migration to Jordan's. He's in the shower, he's getting ready. I'm losing my marbles a little bit. We're gonna get through it. It's gonna be great. Today's gonna be an amazing day. We're in the city. I kind of wish we weren't. <laughs> it's a fucking madhouse. Um, it's Friday afternoon-ish, evening, going into the evening. The city hasn't looked this packed since, I guess, pre-corona. I like don't wanna live here anymore. And I could say that because I'm born and fucking bred. I'm just annoyed because everyone fleed during corona. We all had to stay here and deal with it and now everyone's like back. Sorry, this is like a slight rant because Pennsylvania plates were in front of us and they didn't know how to drive. And they stop in the middle of the road and start screaming at some guys the at the bar. And the people at the bar are like, bro, fucking relax. And the guy in the car from Pennsylvania is just like standing there ready to fight. It's like, you're in a car. They're at a bar drinking and eating Cuomo chips drive away and let me get through. I got places to be. Anyway, that was annoying, but I feel so like, I don't wanna say overwhelmed because I'm not overwhelmed. Like I live here. I know this city like the back of my hand, but everything's just so, oh, everything's on edge. Nobody knows what they're doing anymore. The bikers are not doing their normal bike things. They're just like, Hi guy. <laughs> they're, they're just like, it's different. But they're like coming this way head on with the cars. Like they're not in the bike lane either because there's kind of no bike lane anymore because everything's just a little disheveled. <laughs> the vibe's off. Oh, I, I just hope the vibe comes back because things are, it feels so scatterbrained. The rats are coming up from the subway and they're on Hello? the street. Anyway, we're gonna go to the studio right now and do what we came here to do instead of uh, just kind of uh, detoxing from the ride in. I mean, I'd use it. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, we've been sitting on 37th in between 8th and 9th Avenue for the past 40 minutes, trying to get from 8th Avenue to 9th Avenue. We actually made Jordan's brother get out of the car and go start setting up the studio. And I'm pretty sure he's done because he got out of the car 30 minutes ago. And we still didn't make it around the block. We still didn't find parking. In life, I have never sat in traffic like this in the city. And that's saying a lot. I don't know what the fuck is going on here, but it's a madhouse. I don't know, people are like, oh my God, this city's dead. <laughs> it's It doesn't have the same charm as it did when I moved here. Um, What do you fucking think? We just went through the ringer for the past six months. <laughs> Uh, Jordan stole halal white sauce from a cart right on this corner. Oops. <laughs> Tee. All right. Well, we're gonna get to the studio eventually before the sun goes down, hopefully, because we need to film and take pictures. Water's in here for everyone, if you want. I just want to get some sanitary wipes. Thank get you. Wipe Thank some you. things down, and we're good to go. Okay. All right, so we're here. That was a wild excursion. I'm coming down from it. Uh, were you stressed? Are you like, do you feel okay now? Me? Yeah. No. no. <laughs> do you want some lot. water? That was, no, a, okay. that was a lot mentally, that was a right? Lot. You feel like... No, like the city just do you want a hug? Like, can no. we hug? I, I, th I need a hug. No. Honestly, right. can you? The city just isn't what it used to be. The, the city's city. not how it is, and I'm scared. <laughs> we got this. 
Jordan's gonna do his I'm thing. Nervous, we so don't know nervous. if we have time to film, but we have uh, like purpose. the phone tripod right here. Kyle's got I'm everything. Not. Hey, 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 one, two, check one, two. Yeah, the reverb keeps like cutting in and out. It's strange. And I'm just a little boy. Rambo's just a little boy, little boy, he is the littlest boy, Rambo. Rambo has a pig, a little pig, and it goes honk honk, and it is a little pig. He has corn, the pig has corn, and Rambo eats the corn and tears it to shreds. Um, Audio fire clips, quick while recording. He's rapping a little bit, maybe one more fragment to do. He's only doing a minute of the song. He's doing the co a cover of the song and then we were gonna record dub over for TikTok, but the traffic took us so long to just literally get around the fucking block and park that, what time is it right now? 7.59 and the sun went down. So that kind of sucks. Um, we were gonna go on the roof kind of around like, I guess sunset E hour, but we took a little bit too long. That's okay. We could film in the studio. I'll make it look pretty. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm really hungry. Sometimes content days don't go as planned, obviously. We switched to my phone. Jordan's doing the screaming part of the song right now. Loki is giving me anxiety. It's also hot because we have to shut the air off in the other room. I'm in the studio with the air on right now. Look at my face. It's all red. <gasps> oh my God. Yikes. Through my makeup, I get red. When it's like too hot, I can't handle it. I have rosacea, baby. I feel like I, I think that's a personality trait. Here, I'll, I'll give you a tour of what I, I don't even know what anything is, but. So I'm in this room. There's a bunch of cables. I don't know, stereo, speakers, more buttons that I do not know. My water, the remote to control the eye and almighty God, air. <laughs> I don't know what people did in life before air conditioning. Computer more cables more wires fun a monitor soundproofing <laughs> i feel like some of you guys might like this but i just don't know what anything is thing headphones <laughs> more stuff more stuff more stuff my banana that this is the second banana i've eaten i'm hungry i did not think that this was going to take this this long not to be like that kind of gal but i didn't eat dinner it's nine o'clock um i barely ate lunch i ate lunch at like two jordan should be done in like a few minutes though honestly until then <laughs> welcome back to the car it actually got pretty nice out it's a little windy though some party on 8th avenue I don't know, fun fact, this building, the building I just passed when I first graduated college and I was looking for jobs in marketing, advertising, whatever, a lot of scams in New York City. And I went to an interview and it ended up being like low key, a pyramid scheme. And I did it for like the three days. It was like a trial. They didn't fucking pay me. Content didn't happen, but that's okay because this is technically content. It's still like a working day. It's a Friday. Summer Fridays. Fuck it Fridays. Oh my god. When I was in high school, every single Friday, <coughs> every single Friday in the spring, we used to call them fuck it Fridays and we used to cut school, go to Union Square, get four locos, and drink till we blacked out. Don't recommend doing that at 15 years old, but I mean, it's whatever. It was a fucking Friday. So, today reminds me of that a little bit. I'm so hungry. It is 10 p.m. I have not eaten since two. And the banana that you saw me eat, I actually had two bananas. I ate Jordan's ration, and I'm really sorry about it. Mine's 9.95. Why is yours cheaper? Because I get the oh, beef cause... dumpling. 
it's but there's so no good. noodles. You have to add noodles. It, comes, it says beef dumpling with rice noodles, nine ninety five. So me and Jordan are getting pho bar. Oh my god, Mwah, delicious! It's amazing. We're debating on also getting a wrap and splitting it in half from a different place called. Oh no, Wolf let's Nights. Just get our own wraps. I don't want to spend like fifty dollars on. I'm a getting. Fiesta. It. I'll get the wraps. I'll get the wraps. He's what? He's buying me wraps. Okay, so the bar was closed. The pizza guy tried to the pizza, <laughs> the pizza giant. <laughs> what? The pizza guy tried to not give me my fucking beverage. <laughs> and McDougal is fucking popping. I know all the NYU kids went back to school, but they're like quarantined, so I don't know if they're allowed to leave. But McDougal's fucking packed. And that's oh that's a street with like all the bars all the restaurants like all the college kids go there and like fucking hang out like i hang out there we got pizza but we are also we already ordered wolf nights because wolf nights is open um thank i need god. hand sanitizer thank god they're open nothing in the city is fucking I open them. i do too but i wanted pho bar so whatever pho bar was closed but we're so hungry that we ordered wraps, but on the way to go pick up the wraps, we didn't pick up the wraps yet. We got pizza. I got an artichoke slice. Jordan got a regular slice. I really wanted red pepper on my slice, but like I don't trust touching the, the thing. Because no one on McDougal like cares. Everyone's fucking partying. Because I'm ravishing. No, I look way better without the light. What this vlog is going to turn into is me showing you how. The city's just like on its ass right now. So anyway, and now we're gonna go to the LES to go pick up Wolf Nights. I bet it's gonna be fucking slammed. All the streets, all the restaurants here, they're all on the street. So like, there's, obviously there's no parking. I've talked about this in previous vlogs, but it's funny and I'm glad that the restaurants are getting business and stuff. I personally would rather do anything else in life than sit in a restaurant and eat. That's not something that I'm into. We're gonna see the LES, see how it's comparable to Washington Square. And maybe we'll get insomnia cookies because I'm feeling balls off the wall right now. God, I look like a toe. Um, we're on the way home, we picked up our food. I'm honestly in like a disbelief or a disarray of how many people are in the LES. Like, you know, Washington Square Park, okay, McDougal Street was like not crazy crazy. It was a little more like organized, but I guess over there is like always more organized. But the LES is fucking crazy. And I'm really just pissed off about it. I'm like giving myself a headache. I'm kind of sending myself into like an annoying thing, but like, I really, I understand the bars need to make money. I understand the restaurants need to make money and outdoor dining is a thing, but there is no social distancing. There is no nothing. People are out with 15 friends and they're all like fucking hugging and like play fighting and like walking down the street, like ha ha, like with it's, their beers. It's fine in your friend group. When you're I on don't top know. nine other people. I gotta go, I'm stressed. night obviously i ended the vlog on like a more angry anxious note and like i want to talk about it when i say new york city is different i don't mean it in the sense of like new york city is different to just me like no it's different to everybody i was telling them about how i ended the vlog on an anxious and angry note and i'm wrapping up my feelings of new york city right now and how i don't want to go back into manhattan and i'm going to stay in my borough what about you well the city's not what it like you used to be it's very scary. There's people everywhere. And a man farted on me. <laughs> that man was my brother. And stop going to the LES. You guys are ruining everything. We're not doing our job. You guys aren't flattening the curve. You're making it peak. 
Thank you for that, Jordan Lee. You You're did welcome. really well. It's a shit show. All the businesses are obviously still closed. Most of them are boarded up. Um, Chinatown still didn't reopen. K Town is popping. There's way too many people there right now at all the restaurants and all the bars. I know that we need to get back to normal, but there's not a normal to get back to. Obviously, normal wasn't really the wave and obviously this is just my opinion but like i can't really fathom going out drinking at a bar on a friday night in the middle of a pandemic if you want to go out to a restaurant and support the business and sit down and eat by all means go ahead but i'm not gonna do that cars coming by spitting out the window with their cigarettes like downtown streets are narrow as hell jordan and i small little car very hard to get through there's food, restaurant right here in a parking spot, food, restaurant, and bar right here in a parking spot. You're telling me some guy spits his gum out the window and then the car behind him smoking a cigarette on top of your food. Isn't that how this pandemic started? So I don't know. What are your thoughts? I'm not trying to get like deep and annoying and I, I don't want this vlog to be a reminder or a reflection of New York City, but like literally this is coming from a born and bred New Yorker. I don't know what's happening. I don't think anyone knows what's happening, but like it's really strange to be here right now. But in lighter news, I'm hoping to maybe vlog more. I might go to Florida to see my mom. I'm like scared of going on a plane. That's kind of like the only reason why I'm not, but I don't know, We, I, I, I'm unsure at where I am right now. I'm like in a state of limbo, but I have a lot going on and I'm sure you guys have a lot going on too. So yeah, let's just turn this Thing right around and if you like this video at any point I hope that you give me a thumbs up subscribe down below and follow me over on Instagram and I will see you guys in my next video have a wonderful day and take care